Forget the temperature outside today. The Bears were hot at Soldier Field. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So was Lemuel Stinson, yeah. wasn't he? Lemuel Stinson lit the fuse that started today's fireworks at Soldier Field, and that helped blow Atlanta right out of the water by making uh, two of the Bears' four interceptions. The Bears didn't let Neon Dean burn them, and Andre Rison didn't hurt them either. His touchdown came too late to make a difference. Bears winning at 30-24. to Now, the game had all the hype of a heavyweight fight, Mike Ditka didn't want it that way, but in the end, he couldn't help getting into the act. This is a very special day for me because we did win. Uh, we won the championship belt buckle. <laughs> Richard Dent played like a champion. He had both of the Bears' socks and recovered a fumble that prevented Atlanta from breaking a 3-3 tie. Neil Anderson broke that tie with four minutes left in the half, breaking a Brian Jordan tackle and going eight yards to make it 10-3. Emil Stinson gave the Bears another crack with his first interception of the afternoon and first by the Bears. The Bears went 63 yards on eight plays. There was third and goal at the eight when Jim Harbaugh and Wendell Davis worked the fade pattern to perfection, giving the Bears a 17-3 lead at the half. I can't remember the last time we've ever run that play. I don't know if we've ever run it since I've been here, but um, we work on it every day and uh, fortunate to hit it. Wendell made a great uh, release and then caught the ball and had to dive for it and it was a super catch by Wendell. Davis caught five passes for 105 yards including this 51 yarder that set up the touchdown that gave the Bears a 24-3 lead in the third quarter. Jim Harbaugh passed for 195 yards and ran for 47 which is more than Anderson and Muster got combined. Obviously, we like to throw or run the ball a little bit more than we did today, but, uh, you know, we, we're going to take what everybody gives us. We're not going to pound our head against a brick wall. We're going to, hey, if they want to give us a pass, they want to stick so many guys and stop their run, we're going to throw the ball on them. That last run of Harbaugh has put him out of the game with a bruised shoulder, but he says he'll be okay come Sunday. Lemuel Stinson had been predicting almost weekly that he'd get two interceptions in a game. Well, it finally happened in the fourth quarter. But it wasn't his teammates who mopped him. It was the media. I think you proved something today, huh? I don't know. You tell me. Stinson won the, won the battle. He had two interceptions. And uh, he told them that uh, as long as they kept throwing it his way, he was going to pick off two, and he picked them off. But it took an interception by Vesty Jackson with a minute and a half left to preserve the victory. Jackson returned it 45 yards for the touchdown, giving the Bears a 30 to 17 lead and they held on to win it 30 to 24. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, here he comes. And then it just went open field. So I just took it and ran with it.